Please rise for the arrival of the bride. Doubly blessed is the couple which comes to the marriage altar with the approval and the blessings of their families and their friends. Who has the honor of presenting this woman to be married to this man? Very well. Danny and Summer, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that true love and loyalty alone will avail and is the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make be kept inviolate, and if you steadfastly endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your lives will be full of joy, and the home you are about to establish will abide in peace. No other human ties are more tender no vows are more sacred than those that you are about to assume. You are entering into a holy estate, which is the deepest mystery of the experience of man, and which is the very sacrament of God's divine love. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join Danny Acuna and Summer de Forest in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God at the time of man's innocency signifying to us the mystical union which is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified and is therefore not to be entered into lightly or inadmissibly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God, into which holy estate Danny and his beloved Summer come now to be joined, to unite two hearts and two lives, blending all interests, sympathies, and hopes, I charge and entreat you, therefore, in entering upon and sustaining this holy union, to seek the favor and blessing of him whose favor is life, whose blessing is rich and at no sorrows. As God's children, your marriage is strengthened by your obedience to your heavenly Father and his word. As you let God be in control of your marriage, he will cause your home to be a place of joy and a testimony to the world. Let us seek his blessing. Our Heavenly Father, we beseech you to come by your grace to this marriage. Give to Summer and Danny who marry a due sense of the obligation they are now to about to assume, so that with true intent and with absolute unreserved of love, they may live their life together in your will and, he, and be henceforth in your grace to provide for each other in their journey through life. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Danny and Summer have chosen to incorporate the last of rosary into their wedding ceremony. Danny and Summer, as we go to this part of the ceremony, I want you to go ahead and look into each other's eyes, okay? Uh, Matt and Katie, would you please drape the lasso in the form of an eight 
a figure eight around the shoulders of Summer and Danny. Yes, please be seated. Thank you. The figure eight represents eternal life in Jesus Christ. The last one is the wedding ritual in which a couple is bound together with a ceremonial rosary. Last one is a declaration of intent where the bride and the groom clearly state that they are marrying of their own free will. Danny and Summer, since your paths have crossed in this life, you have formed eternal and sacred bonds. As you enter this holy state of matrimony, you should strive to make real the ideals that to you both hold dear and give meaning to your marriage. With full awareness, know that within this lasso, you are not only declaring your intent to be bound together before your friends and family, but you speak that intent also to God. The promises made today and the ties that are bound here greatly strengthen your union and will cross the years as each of your souls will continue to grow in your journey in life. Father God, bless this marriage of Danny and Summer as they begin their journey of life together. We know not what lies ahead, for the road has many turns and bends. We are grateful to you for guiding them and helping them to make the best of whatever comes their way. We are thankful that they can continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met, and for helping them to realize that nothing nor no one is perfect, and to look for the good in all things and in all people, including themselves. And thank you for helping them to respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams and fears, even though they may not always understand them, but rely on the daily walk in the presence of God. Thank you for helping them to learn from each other and to help each other to grow spiritually in the presence of Jesus. Thank you for helping them to realize that no matter what happens to them, they will hold on to each other and know that all things will have a way of working out for the good of those who love the Lord. Thank you for helping them to create for their children a peaceful, stable, a stable home of love with God as the foundation on which they can build their lives. But most of all, dear God, thank you for helping them to keep lit the flame of love as they now share. So by, love, by a loving example, they may pass on the life of Christ to their children and their children's children forever. <clears throat> Jose, can you please present the 13 monedas to Danny? Thirteen coins represent the person of Jesus Christ and his twelve apostles. Las trece monedas representan la persona de Jesucristo y sus doce apóstoles. The coins, or arrea, was the Roman custom of breaking gold and silver, one half to be kept by the woman and the other half to be kept by the man as a pledge of marriage. Las monedas, o arras, fue una tradición romana donde el hombre y la mujer dividían el dinero de una promesa de matrimonio. The groom grips the bride 13 coins as a symbol of his unquestionable trust and confidence. El novio presenta las 13 monedas como un símbolo de su indiscutible confianza. Danny pledges that he will place all his goods into Summer's care and safekeeping. There you go, bud. Danny promete todos sus bienes en el cargo de su prometida Summer. Acceptance by summer means taking that trust and confidence unconditionally with total dedication and prudence. Aceptando esto, summer toma la confianza de una promesa incondicional, totalmente dedicada y con prudencia a mantener un hogar lleno de amor y paz. The picture, a symbol of this exchange, is that God is the provider of all good things in life and then he recognizes his responsibility as a provider of the blessings of Christ. Esta escena es un símbolo que representa el intercambio que Dios es el proveedor de todo lo bueno en la vida. Y Danny reconoce su responsabilidad como el proveedor de las bendiciones de Dios. 
summer, we can go ahead and place those into little coin box. I was telling somebody earlier that I can do this part also in German, in Russian, and in Yiddish if you wanted to, but he chose not to do that. Okay. Danny? Yes. Will you have Summer to be your wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, Keep yourself on to her so long as you should both live. <coughs> Summer, will you have Danny to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you submit to him, serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, in forsaking all others? Keep yourself on to him for as long as you shall live. I will. Danny, what pledge do you give? Is the sincerity of your vows. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. Summer, do you accept this ring as a pledge of the sincerity of Danny's vow? I do. Danny, repeat after me. Go ahead and put the, place the ring on her finger and hold it there as you repeat. Mm -hmm. right. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods, with all my worldly goods, I thee and thou. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And may the circle of pure gold, which has no end, be henceforth the chaste and changeless symbol of your ever more pure and changeless affection. Summer. What pledge do you give of the sincerity of your vows? Danny, you accept this ring as a pledge of the sincerity of Summer's vows? I do. Summer, repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faithfulness. Of my constant faithfulness. And abiding love. And abiding love. And may this ring given be an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond, which unites two hearts in endless love. The circle, the emblem of eternity, the goal, the type of which is least tarnished and most enduring. It is to show how lasting and imperishable is the faith now pledged. That the ring, a fit token of what is unending, continued to be to you both a symbol of the value, the purity, and the constancy of true wedded love, and the seal of the vows in which you have both pledged your most solemn and sacred honor. For as much as Danny and Summer, have consented in holy wedlock, we have thereto confirmed the same by giving and receiving each one a ring. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I now declare you husband and wife, according to the ordinance of God and the laws of the state of California. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Matt and Katie, could you please uh, remove the lasso for us? Danny, you may not kiss your bride. <laughs> looks good, but perhaps. <laughs> Dearly beloved, this day marks a new era in your lives now united. From henceforth you had travel life's pathway not alone but together. Let the love be forever enthroned in your hearts. As members of the Church of Christ, 
We earnestly commend you unto your heavenly Father, asking him that according to his abundant grace, he may bestow upon you both the spirit of grace, enabling you to establish, establish a Christian home, in which the voice of prayer and praise shall be sweet incense, continually to ascend unto him, who has purchased you with his own precious blood. And may heaven's constant benediction crown your union with ever-increasing joy and blessedness and true affection of a happy marriage. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. And now we have two families who are joined together in mutual love, respect, and the blessedness of Christ our Lord, who commands us, everybody in this building, who commands us all that we support and that we love Danny and Summer through their journey in life. Please face the, the families. It is my honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Danny Acuna. <laughs> Thank you. 